Well, our time together is coming to a close. This is the last session of the Advanced Growth Track. In two weeks, we will start the Growth Track. It is a series of classes designed to help new believers or those who are, really don't have a great relationship with Jesus to get closer to Him and discover their new life in Him. Now, Randy's gonna be leading this class, praise God, and somebody else better say praise God too. But who's gonna help him? You see, a class like this can't be just done by one person. Those days of, of the talking head to a room full of people are over. That's not how it works anymore. This class can only equip you, but you're the one who has to choose to change, just as like everybody else does. Now, I'll mention in my morning message that Jesus ministered to tens of thousands of people, but yet on Acts chapter, in Acts chapter 2, in the upper room, we only find 120 that are up there. That means a lot of people we're going to minister to, but few are going to follow. Jesus said in Matthew 9, 36 through 38, Jesus said, saw the crowds and he had compassion on them because they were confused and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. He said to his disciples, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest. Ask him to send more workers into the field. You are the workers of the harvest. I've been praying for you. Others have been praying for you. This is your day. This is your hour to influence your world for Jesus Christ. But the question that neither you nor I can answer is, who's going to be in this class in a couple of weeks? It is for people who are new in their relationship or just learning or just growing. We need new people to come in. Now, obviously, if they can't come at the 915 time slot here, either Zoom or online, you can lead them personally. That's true. But it is obvious we want to build a relationship with them. And it's important. It's an important part of, of their growth in their relationship with Jesus to be a part of this church. But we live in a day and time now when a lot of people, even people who go to church, say, I love Jesus, but I'm, I'm not crazy about the people who go to church. I'm not crazy about church. And that's a lie that's cooped up from hell that people have bought into. Church was never perfect, and you're not perfect either. We want people to come and connect to us and be a part of it. And yeah, it's family. Sometimes it's great and wonderful, and sometimes it's, it can be a little bit rough. But never deny anybody the ability, the opportunity, or give them an excuse not to be a part of the body of Christ, the family of God. For decades, we've delegated the responsibility of, of raising up new believers and everybody else to pastors and church staffs and even to, to books and DVDs. But that model died off years ago, many, many, many years ago. It doesn't work. We know it. But you know what does work? People leading people in small groups, just like this. This is where you grow. This is where people learn how to be a follower of Jesus. The days of watching, watching a worship on a screen with a rock star preacher who won't wake us from our dreams, wanting blessings in our pocket, we keep missions overseas, those are over. And I'm quoting Casting Crowns there from the song, Start Right Here. And the message of the, strong, of, of the song is, is very strong. It says if we want to see change in our world, then we have to start first changing ourselves. The last three months of messages coupled with this training have all led up to one thing, souls. That's what it's all about. It isn't about building a big church. It isn't about having a great name. It isn't about making money or any of the rest of that. It's about souls. Souls that will spend eternity in heaven or hell. Souls that will live upon this earth tormented by hell itself or live under the grace and the blessing of their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. People are valuable. Souls are valuable to you and to me. We cannot allow the cancel culture to creep into our hearts and justify our desire to cancel people just because they don't agree with us. It amazes me how we fight for, for the unborn, but yet we don't fight for the living. It, it's amazing how we do that. If they were valuable before they were born, they're valuable now. If the last 12 months have taught us anything, it's this. Comfort kills. 
Our desire to live a stress-free, offense-free, safe culture has led many to abandon the calling of leadership upon their life. Some don't even want to lead themselves anymore. People are willing to give away anything and everything if it will make their life easier and more comfortable. And they don't realize it's a great lie that leads to destruction. Why is this happening? Because they want something different. They want something better. The world will try to pass laws and make policies and create change in order to find what they want. But the church has been the only answer to their need. They're looking for someone that will give them something better. The church has sat on this secret long, too long. And you and I need to reach our world for Christ now. So the question is, now what? Well, I don't know. That's up to you. Well, Randy, it's all yours. God bless, and I'll see you next time.